very excited to have Julie von Rosendahl in the All You Can Eat Test Kitchen with me today because mm-hmm. uh, Julie is here with her One Smart Cookie Cookbook. And we're also here with my new Hamilton Beach stand mixer, and uh, we're going to use it to make cookies today. And do you like my new it's mixer? It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I covet your mixer. That's I cool. love the color. The color is apple green. It's, yeah, it is. It's apple green. I was going to say it's not quite olive. It's, it's apple. Not olive, not avocado, it's granny. but apple. Granny, granny Smith, Smith apple green. green. So we're going to use that to whip up some cookies. And take me back, though, before we get started, uh, how One Smart Cookie came about. How did it come to be? Well... I started making low-fat cookies for my dad, who is a doctor, he's a gastroenterologist, very conscious of what he eats. He's very healthy, you know, in great shape, but he has a history of high cholesterol in his family. And so he's he's very careful with his saturated fat intake, but mm-hmm. he has a huge sweet tooth. He's a ravenous chocoholic. And so, you know, my mom was making him healthy desserts and, you know, low fat pudding and meringues and fruit stuff. And it just, it just wasn't cutting it, you know? And, uh, and back you know, at the time there was, you know, this new, uh, sort of insurgence of low fat cookbooks, but there were no low fat cookies, low fat brownies. There was the, the odd oatmeal and applesauce cookie, the, the prune puree brownie. You can't mask prunes in a brownie. You know, there's just, there's no, prunes have no business being in a brownie. Absolutely not. And so I started working on, um, a recipe for a, a low fat chocolate cookie for him because I wanted to be the favorite daughter really is was that was my motivation and it worked <laughs> and uh so I, I developed these cookies that my nephew named Choco Lava cookies that only had two grams of fat they're really dense chocolatey cookies and people like them so much that I decided to open a bakery so I opened a bakery in Calgary and started cranking out these cookies to about 50 restaurants and coffee shops and in, in Calgary and people just went crazy for them so I started making low-fat chocolate chip cookies I made some low-fat oatmeal raisin cookies and eventually got tired of getting up at one o'clock in the morning to crank out cookies every day and decided to write a cookbook because you know during this time I I started working on other recipes I figured if I can make these really fantastic low-fat chocolate chip cookies and chocolate lava cookies what else can I make and I just